Whenever I get a new lens, the first thing I will do is a full analysis of its focus accuracy. And whenever I get a new camera body, I will do it with all my lenses. There are several different things you can test. One is how easy or difficult it is for the lens to find the right focus point. Especially under low light or low contrast conditions, some lenses have a hard time to find the focus point. So you should learn what your lens is capable to do. But in this video I want to talk about when the camera thinks that it found the focus, is it correct or is it front or back focused. This is especially important when taking pictures with a shallow depth of field. First of all, how can it not be correct? There is no camera body and no lens that is perfect. There is no 100% perfect product. Instead, the manufacturer decides on a tolerance how much a product can be front or back focused and they still sell it. Imagine you buy a camera body whose AF system has a slight back focus. Let's just give it the number minus 2. And now you buy a lens that has a slight front focus of plus 2. You will be extremely satisfied with the lens because all your pictures are tech sharp. But imagine someone else gets the same lens and his camera body's AF system has a slight front focus of plus 2. He will say this lens is faulty and send it back to the manufacturer. That's why some people go to camera stores and try out 10 different lenses to find the one that fits best to their camera body. In order to see whether your camera plus lens combination has a front or back focus, you can of course go out and shoot anything or stay in your house and take pictures of your socks and keyboard. But the best way how to test this is to build a construction that looks like this because you will not only see whether it was in focus or not, but also whether it was front or back focused and how much it was wrong. Since I made one year ago a video that was partly about the same topic, I will show you now the part of the video where I explain how to build this thing and how to use it. You need a ruler which you tape on a box in a slight angle. Choose one number as your optimal number and make sure that it is on the exact same level as the area you will focus at. In my case it is the 10. The area you focus on needs a high contrast level. I drew a black cross on it. For the closer pictures, a small one. For the more far away pictures, a bigger one. Especially the one for close up shots should be quite close to the ruler, so that you don't get false results because the distance between the cross and the ruler is too big. For pictures that are more distant, you need a bigger cross to make sure that your lens really focuses on the cross and not another object. You need to be in a bright environment and you have to use a tripod. You cannot use a live screen focus because then another focusing method is used and you will not get proper results. Make sure your camera only uses the center focus point. Now we are ready for the first picture. I have here now some pictures. On the first picture we can see that there is a slight front focus. The focus is not on the zero but somewhere at the one roughly. On the next picture, on this one, we can see a clear back focus. This picture seems to be perfectly focused. What I usually do is that I don't really look on where the chart, but I look, for example, I look on this one and on this one. And then I will um, look whether they have the same amount of sharpness roughly, like they are both slightly out of focus, so we know here has to be the focus. And on this picture, we can actually see this very well. Um, we can actually see that it's slightly back focused, even though it looks very sharp. Because if you look on, on this line and this line, you can see that this, is, this line is sharper than this line. And there's a slight back focus, even though it's not a lot. I recommend you to use a small F number, means a big aperture, so that your depth of field is as shallow as it can. So it is easier to see what is in focus and what is not in focus. If you know now that your pictures aren't perfectly in focus, what does it help you? First of all, it is good to know because you can understand why your pictures are not perfectly sharp. If you want, you can even send your camera with your lens to your camera manufacturer and um, he will adjust your camera body that it fits to the lens. But be careful, because other lenses you own might afterwards not deliver sharp pictures anymore. With Sigma lenses of the Art series, you can do micro adjustments with the USB dock, which I explained in another video. More advanced camera bodies have a function called AF micro adjustments, with which you can do micro adjustments for all your different lenses, 
as long as they are not used with an adapter. But even if you realize that you have a front or back focusing issue, as long as it is not super severe, in many pictures it doesn't really matter because the depth of field is not that small. Whenever you buy a new lens, make sure that you do proper testing so that you know whether everything is fine or whether you should send the lens back. Thanks for watching and if you have any further questions then write in the comments and I will be happy to help you. See you.